Magandang buhay mga bata. Tara, samahanin niyo ako matuto kasama si... Teacher Aika, your online teacher. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and hit the notification bell for more videos. Thank you! Matatag Curriculum, Mathematics, Grade 4, Quarter 2, Lesson 1. Our topic for today is about multiplying whole numbers and estimating products. This is Teacher Aika, your online teacher. Content standards, the learners should have knowledge and understanding of multiplication of whole numbers with products up to 1 million, division up to 4 digit numbers by up to 2 digit numbers, and the MDAS rules. Performance standards, by the end of the quarter, the learners are able to perform multiplication of whole numbers with products up to 1 million, perform division up to 4 digit numbers by up to 2 digit numbers, and perform different operations by applying the MDAS rules. Here are the learning competencies and objectives. Number 1. Multiplying numbers with or without regrouping. A. 3 to 4 digit numbers by a 1 digit number. And B. 2 to 3 digit numbers by 2 digit numbers with products up to 1 million. Number 2. Estimate the results of multiplying two numbers where the product is less than 1 million. Here are the contents of our lesson. A. Multiplying whole numbers. B. Estimating products. Let's now go on with subtopic number 2. Multiplying 3 to 4 digit by 1 digit number with regrouping. Use base 10 blocks to represent the product of 136 times 4. 136 with 1 flat, 3 longs, and 6 squares. Times 4 is equal to 544. Now, let us find the product of 136 times 4 using expanded form. So, on this part, we have 136 times 4 is equal to 100 plus 30 plus 6 times 4. By distributive property, we can have 136 times 4 equal 100 times 4 plus 30 times 4 plus 6 times 4 equals 400 plus 120 plus 24 equals 400 plus 144. So the total is 544. So therefore, 136 times 4 is equals to 544. Find the products of 136 times 4 using standard form. 6 times 4 is equal to 24. So we're going to put 4 here and 2 in tens place. 3 times 4 
is 12 plus 2, 14. We're going to put 4 here and 1 on its hundreds place. 1 times 4 is 4 plus 1, so we have 544. Therefore, 136 times 4 is equals to 544. Now, let us have 7,152 times 6. That is 7,000 plus 100 plus 50 plus 2 times 6. Let's try to compute. Here's the solution. 7,152 times 6. 7,000 times 6. 100 times 6. 50 times 6. And 2 times 6. 42,000 plus 600 plus 300 plus 12. So the total is 42,912. So 7,152 times 6 is equal to 42,912. Let us now find the product of 7,512 times 6. First, we have to multiply the 1's place. 2 times 6 is equal to 12. So, write down 2 in the 1's place and carry over 1. Now, let us multiply the tens place. 1 times 6 is equal to 6. Plus 1 is equal to 7. Write down 7 in the tens place. Third, multiply the hundreds place. 5 times 6 is equal to 30. Write down 0 in the hundreds place and carry over 3. Multiply the thousands place. 7 times 6. Then let's add the carry over 3. The answer is 45. So, write down 45. Therefore, the answer is 45,072. This time, let's now have a lesson activity. Sketch a new set of base pieces to multiply 163 by 3, then show regrouping. 1 flat, 6 longs, and 3 squares. Here is the answer. 163 times 3 is equal to 489. B. Find the product of the following numbers using your preferred strategy. Number 1, 372 times 8. Number 2, 2019 times 9. Number 3, 7,865 times 6. Number 4, 796 times 5. And number 5, 1,354 times 7. 
Let us answer. Number 1, 3072 times 8 is equal to 2,976. Number 2, 2,019 times 9 is equal to 18,171. Number 3, 7,865 times 6 is equal to 47,190. Number 4, 7,096 times 5 is equal to 3,980. And number 5, number 5, 1,354 times 7 is equal to 9,478. And that wraps up today's lesson. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more content like this, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you never miss an update. Thanks for tuning in.